before you really can understand the finer points of probability and statistics and randomness, you have to understand even basic things like arithmetic or, or, or units and numbers. And, and unfortunately, our society and our educational, educational system does a very bad job at that, I, I believe. And um, that's a whole other panel we should have some time. But, um, so here's just an illustration of that that I just thought was tr great. And let me, I gotta set it up though. So I'll tell you what's going on. There's this uh, fellow, um, uh, an American, uh, who has a, uh, a packaged data plan from Verizon. And so he pays a flat rate for his uh, use of data. And he was going to Canada. And um, so he calls Verizon and he says, um, you know, what's the rate for Canada? Uh, so they said to him it's 0 0.002 cents per kilobyte. And that's two one thousandths of a cent per kilobyte. And he said, that's, you know, I don't know what it normally costs, so I don't know what that is, but I just want to double check, is it two one thousandth of a cent or two one thousandth of a dollar? And he had a gut feeling that maybe it should be dollar, but he really didn't know what was normal. And, and they looked it up, they said, no, so they read it to him, it says 2.002 cents. And they put it in, actually in his file that he asked that question. He asked them to put that in his file, it's 0.002 cents per kilobyte. So, so then he goes to Canada and he, he uses either $79 worth of data or 79 cents worth of data, depending, I guess, on your point of view. But he, he got charged $79 worth of data uh, for his data usage as if it would cost uh, $0.002. So he calls Verizon back and tries to uh, tell them that it's, it was <laughs> 0.002 cents. So there's two, two audio clips. Uh, there, there's, actually, if you go online and search for this, there's a, well, if you're a mathematician, a hilarious 20-minute conversation. <laughs> <laughs> But the people at the World Science Festival, um, uh, in, in your service, uh, insisted that we cut it down to about a minute and a half. So, okay. So well, uh, anyway, you, can you play the clips? Do you recognize that there's a difference between $0.002 and $0.002 cents? $0.002? Do you recognize that there's, a, there's actually... .002 yes, do you recognize there's a difference between those two numbers? Okay, is there a difference between two dollars and two cents? Well, yes, there is. Okay, so is it is there a difference between point zero zero two dollars and point zero zero two cents? Point zero zero two dollars and point zero zero two cents. Yes, is there a difference so they're, between? They're, they're both the same if you if you look at them on paper wise. No, they're not actually. It, 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 is point five dollars the same as point five cents? It's point five dollars. Is a half a dollar... That would, be, that would be 50 cents. A half a dollar, is it the same as a half of a cent? No. Right. So, okay. so clearly, two one-thousandths of a dollar, which is your rate for airtime, as I now understand it, uh, your rate for, for per, kilobit in, uh, per kilobyte in Canada, is, is two one-thousandths of a dollar. But two one-thousandths of a dollar is different than two one-thousandths of a cent. What I was quoted was 0 .002 cents. That's two one thousandths of a cent per kilobyte. Oh, the, the second My one. bill re reflects 0 .002 dollars per minute. What do you mean .002 dollars? This is a supervisor. <laughs> okay, I think I have to do this again. Do you recognize <laughs> that there's a difference between one dollar and one cent? Definitely. Do you recognize that there's a difference between half a dollar and half a cent? Definitely. Then do you therefore recognize that there's a difference between point zero zero two dollars and point zero zero two cents? No. No. <laughs> I mean, there, there, there's no point zero zero two dollars. <laughs> uh, yeah. right, so I, I, I recognize that conversation. I've had that one a few times.